Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I'm honestly surprised that people are doing this SBC right now in FC24 just because it is so mid. But the more that I actually think about it, I believe that I know why people are doing this SBC. I want to get into that today and how we actually have some decent player picks. EA did something different instead of the normal copy and paste that we normally see. And we need those player picks for the grind on this game for the weekly SBC that returns today on FC24. So we're going to break it down. We're going to talk about it and look ahead and maybe even kind of prospect some potential content that we're not seeing leagues for, but the market's starting to move for. And that means... Maybe a leak is coming. All that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Now, I know yesterday we had a massive video, guys. A lot of positive support came out of yesterday's video. Tons of your guys' comments in the stream yesterday, in the YouTube video yesterday. I really, really appreciate the feedback. The whole EA situation, I know there's still a lot of frustration. It's fresh in our minds. And I'm not rolling over that in today's video and kind of pretending like it didn't happen. This is going to be an ongoing situation where we provide feedback to them, but also are still very outspoken about the change that we are hoping to make. I just wanted to point that out and say thank you guys for all the support on the main channel, the second channel videos about that and other things related to the whole topic. It's going to be an ongoing conversation. So there's still frustration. Guys, starting off the video today, can we talk about these freaking servers, man? I mean, disconnects are still happening. I'm in the menus here all the time and I'll randomly be completing an SBC, searching for a card on the market and all of a sudden it'll say, you've lost connection to the servers or connecting to ultimate team was not possible at the moment. I'm seeing that all the freaking time and it's actually starting to annoy me as you can tell by the way that i'm talking about it. i'm sure you guys are annoyed as well it's like what has happened to the servers on this game i think pc is having issues as well maybe not as much on xbox i don't know how this is being a problem if it's a entire ea thing or if it's just playstation but gosh there's still disconnects happening in weekend league um it's causing people losses and of course, the servers, the menus in the here are having connection issues as well. It is a problem, man. I bet it happens multiple times. I bet I have to reset the game inside of this video. So that's one of my biggest problems with the game right now. And I think a lot of you guys are feeling that as well based on yesterday in the stream and the comments I've had from a lot of you guys too. Now, let's go into SBC content from yesterday and talk about things that we got content-wise. We finally got the Lacazette, guys. We looked for days at this card saying, hey, it could come tomorrow. Hey, it could come tomorrow. And it finally drops, right? Four-star, five-star Lacazette is the exact same card that was leaked. He doesn't have five-star skills, though. I mean, before we were looking at this, we were hoping that he'd be 5-5. Five, five. I thought he'd maybe be 5-4, but they made him 4-5. So if you're looking for a player for your ex arsenal squad uh then yeah you've got a nice card here in lacazette power shot first touch plus and ping pass i don't know he's probably got really good finishing um but to me this card is something that i'm not super interested in doing it doesn't hit different for me in any sort of way but it is a french striker and i know that that has its own desires in this game because french strikers are always desired i think it's kind of like a six out of ten sbc unless it's nostalgia or emotional for you and the issue with his price is i think he started off at like 500k or maybe even a little below that but guys fodder prices are going up that's a big part of yesterday's content fodder prices are going up so his price is going up 550k because believe it or not in a simple lacazette You've got two 90 rated squads in here. A little bit pricey. I think that's an issue there with the lock is that card. Do it if you want. I don't think that it's a must do situation. Now I want to talk about the upgrade packs. First, starting with the 84 plus player pick. We were hoping for the 85 plus, and I still think I'd rather the 85 plus because the 84 plus is basically the same player pick that we had last week that was the 83 plus. It's got the almost exact same requirements. Maybe it requires one more rare, or maybe it's the exact same, but it's got the 84 plus rating instead of the 83 plus, and we still can only do it three times per day. Um, I kind of wish we had the 85 plus pick, even if it required the 84 squad personally, because I like that the 85 plus pick was a lot higher rated. And I was a fan of that. Honestly, I'm not hating on this. I'm just saying, I think I would have liked the 85 plus better in this regard, but this 84 plus is okay. It just, it's making me run out of gold commons a lot faster. Now, this is the good player pick guys, the 82 plus one of three. 82 plus player pick they finally upgraded over the 81 plus which is what we were expecting it does require two rares but it's only eight gold so six commons and two rares is a w in my book i feel like i'm running out of rares faster now um which is probably bound to happen because 
I'm opening or I'm turning in more of those rares into the player picks, right? Two instead of one. It adds up over time. And that's a little bit annoying, but I'm willing to maybe even buy the odd rare gold here or there to keep this craft going. Taking all the 81 rated out of these picks, guys, the weight is pretty freaking good. As you can see, first pick here, 89 Ter Stegen. I did pack my 101st Tots. When I was streaming yesterday, that number was 100. I just packed Mateo from literally one player pick that I did and accidentally opened. Uh, but these these have actually been pretty solid. It's kind of 83 and 84 is your minimum. Um, and then the walkouts are like in a set of five. I mean, I've probably only done like 20 of these and I've packed two team of the seasons. So that weight to me seems way better than previous weeks, which makes me more excited to grind these throughout the week to be crapping into them and then to all the other upgrade packs that we do have. So I'm actually a fan of those. That was the best SBC content that was released yesterday. 100%. It finally gave us a better player pick, man. So that's honestly pretty good. The other SBC, which technically isn't new, is this one, the 88 plus Encore icon player pick ea tweeted this yesterday the eafc direct account got some action replying to their original tweet that this sbc was messed up right this is the sbc that they released at 6 a.m on uh, sunday instead of 6 p.m on sunday it came back yesterday at the content drop time they said that players who partially completed were able to continue continue where they left off and players who fully completed will be um compensated in the coming days so it'll probably be a while for that but if you did the sbc you're going to be getting compensated if you got a base icon out of this right because it gives foot birthdays future stars team of the year and winter wild cards we open these on the second channel guys um, a lot of people were doing these sbcs yesterday like i was surprised to see the number of people doing the 88 plus encore icon player pick like the share plays just kept coming i thought oh one or two guys gonna try this out and see what happens right just craft it up because why not and they just kept coming there's a lot of hype for this sbc and i was kind of scratching my head and said like why like i don't know why there's a lot of hype this sbc is 88 plus not 90 plus compared to the other icon pick that we had a couple of weeks ago and yes it does now include the foot birthday icons so you had the like of stoichkov you had the like of hullet who's potentially in this player pick very very rare though right you've got um let's see Thierry Henry, who's in this one as well it's an 87 with tots and an 88 rated squad i don't feel like the value is amazing or anything like that but again i'm saying i feel like a lot of people are going and doing it and if you take a look at the fodder prices that supports the claim guys 89s are 22,000 coins they are rising let me open up rodri right because rodri is in packs not um impacted by being out of packs at all yesterday rodri if footbin would load graphs guys what is happening with servers on everything here everything is down let's go allison give me hourly give me yesterday he went from 17,000 coins all the way to 22 23k these 89s continue to rise that's 5,000 coins up from where they were yesterday i don't think it's because of the lacazette sbc maybe a little bit i honestly think it's more of this 88 plus encore icon pick right 89s are used heavily in 87 and 88 rated squads especially the 88 rated squads with how cheap the rest of the fodder market is you put in 189 the rest 88s maybe an 87 boom you got yourself an 88 rated squad there um so these are going up in my opinion especially the 88s because of the icon player pick look at this if you guys invested in fodder yesterday like we were talking about a lot in the video g freaking g's i did not expect it to go up this much this fast and I, yeah, fodder was really cheap. Like it was at minimum price for a lot of these cards. It is flying, man. Especially the 87s, 88s, and 89s. That's where it is going up the most. Now your 84s, they're still minimum price. I think they're going to move more today and tomorrow. Your 85s are still 2.5K. They are up, but I think they're going to move more today as well. So if you want to try to get in on fodder, I think that's your play, right? You're investing for the SBCs that will be coming out today. But one of the reasons I think that a lot of people are doing this 88 plus Encore Icon player pick is one because it is an icon player pick, right? It's just the gamble. It's the potential with the new cards that are inside of it. You have a chance of packing a way more meta icon than you had before. The second thing is a lot of people on this game want something to grind. An SBC, like an icon SBC. We've had Dino. Guys, we just had R9, but this is not crazy enough to say this because it's it's prime R9 basically, right? 94 R9. Um, this is, I guess it's not Prime R9 because they did away with that. It's base R9, right? 
But this is not an SBC that people are willing to craft and work towards, even though the menu craft is so good. With all the upgrade packs that are out, the exchanges, and that's the way that it's been for a long time, people are just yearning for a really good grind that they can undertake. Log on to the game, feel like they're chipping away at something and getting a card that they would otherwise not be able to obtain. Instead of dropping this Ronaldo card, they could have dropped Team of the Ronaldo maybe a bit too high. But like, if we would have had, this is my example, if we would have had a Stoichkov, right? I'm talking foot birthday icon Stoichkov. If they would have dropped that card in an SBC instead of the base R9, I think there would have been way more hype for him. 5'5", 95, 94, 91, 94. You look at those stats, you look at this card. This is not a card that a lot of people would use otherwise, but you have the chance to put him out as an SBC. Let's say his SBC was like 2.6 mil, same price as this card. People might actually do that. They might actually be tempted to do that SBC over a base R9 right now in this game. That's the type of thing. I think even people were excited for Vieira and the leaks for that card for that same sort of thing. They just wanted something to chip away at and to grind. And it feels like even though we have a ton of Icon SBCs that are out right now, it's just not quite good enough. Now, some people are happy with R9, but I think that chipping away at something, that SBC to grind uh, with all the upgrades that are out, is just not to par with what a lot of people want it to be. So let me know down in the comments if you agree with that or not. But I think a lot of us have high rated fodder, and that's why an 88 plus Encore Icon pick that we can do two times that is literally just an 87 and 88 rated squad is so easy to do because of this craft, because of the 83 times 10. And you know what? It's like, why not have some fun? So I wasn't originally going to do this, but now I'm looking at it and I'm like, hmm. With the 83 times 10s, maybe I will just hit up an icon pick this week because what else, right? And take a chance and have some fun on an icon player pick. Again, we opened some of those in the second channel. If you want to see some of those, I'll link that right up here. But again, fodder has gone to the moon, and it's really because of that SBC, and maybe a just tiny bit uh, of that can be related to the Lacazette. Now, I want to go to the market and actually look at some cards as well because some cards that were extinct have been updated in price, but it's only a select two, really. And a lot of cards are still either at their minimum price or they are extinct still. Busquets is one that is no longer 290k. Guys, I realized yesterday this card is very packable. I, there were so many people in the stream yesterday saying that Busquets was popping out of their 82 plus player picks and 84 plus player picks like crazy. So we actually have a really good chance in packing this card. This card looks unbelievable with the passing playstyle pluses that he has. He's got all the defending playstyle pluses except for, look at that, error retrieving player attributes. And then I click right in and it shows again. He's got all the defending playstyle pluses except for slide tackle. So if you want to link up with some MLS cards, which by the way, all of Messi's specials and the Jordi Alba for birthday, probably the popular cards to link to him are rising um those cards are up in price so be careful with that but that card got a price range update as did nuno menge nuno menge was extinct at 290 and now he's about 320,000 coins so he actually did go up Ooh, he's a little bit higher right now 330k 340 he's up a little bit from where he was extinct at and he must not be as packable as busquets and some of these other cards those cards got upgraded but guess who didn't majri Majri did not get updated in price. She's still extinct at 290,000 coins. And if you take a look at the other side of things, you still have cards like Zakaria, who has a minimum price of 70K and is not selling on the market because he can't go lower than this. Again, one of the things for feedback that I have for EA is why are price ranges the way that they are this year? Why are they slow to update? And why are some cards updated and other cards not? I want to get some answers to those questions as a part of this whole kind of movement that is going on. That would be one of the things I'd have on my list to try to get some answers to. So I guess we're waiting on Majri now for a price range update. Um, and then as well, you know, uh, some of those cards with minimum prices that um, are not selling because they need to be lowered right there. So that was kind of content yesterday in a nutshell. It was a decently quiet day, to be honest. But really, um, it was the SBCs and the player picks they kind of take took things and that was like the best part of content for sure of course all the conversations about the boycott fc and all that stuff was going on for sure but at least the menu grind was was better yesterday with those 82 plus picks it's just annoying that the game is still crashing a ton so we've already covered that let's move on and actually before we talk about market or anything like that let's just go straight into what is today what are we expecting on this game today and i want to start off with the thing that we get every single tuesday now during team of the season that is the weekly team of the season upgrade pack sbc 
Going to be coming back today, but I have a couple of things to mention with this SBC. First time it was two squads. Last week it was just one 86 rated squad with a team in the season. Another reason why 84s and 85s could be a good investment heading into today even. 84s are 1.2k. They could end up by Wednesday being 1.7 to 2k just like they were last week. That's a low budget investment. 85s, I still think if you can get them at around 2.3k. Um, I know that they went up yesterday. I think 2.3K is a fine price to buy them at. It's just above discard. And I think you're going to be able to see them selling for hopefully above 3,000 coins um, even today on this game. Because an 86 rated squad with a team of the season will mean if it's the same requirement as last week or similar, you're probably going to use some 85s in that squad. So again, that weekly TOTS upgrade should be should be is the words here encompassing of all of the team of the season cards that are released right now and the ones that have been released in previous weeks before this so like live team of the season cards prem tots bundesliga mixed leagues one two and three and of course including the league one and d1 arkema they should all be in the pool for this pick now the issue is I have not seen, unless I've completely missed it, I have not seen a pack code that says that the pack that that is going to be pulling from has been updated, right? Last week, remember, this TOTS pack was like everything released from April 19th to May 6th or something like that. Or I think I forget the exact dates on it, right? Or May 3rd. We need another one that says the newer dates on it. So watch out for a pack code update today. Um, hopefully EA don't forget that and drop the same SBC that does not include the new TOTS cards, like technically Messi and Busquets and Aldasari and all the cards that are in packs right now is mixed league number three should be packable. We should have a chance to pack all of these cards, like Podolski even, in that SBC today. So it'll be a cheap one, but that'll be an SBC that is worth the try with the way the menus are in crafting. Also today, if you've been doing the daily login every single day, will be day number, is it five or six? Daily login, day number six. Uh, it'd be an 80 plus times five and a TOTS guaranteed pack, which again will encompass all the previously released up, released up until now and the current team of the season players. So kind of like two guaranteed TOTS packs today, one for quote unquote free, the other one for you know, the weekly TOTS upgrade. So that's something to point out. And also today we have to say, because last week it happened a day early, TOTS live updates, uh, upgrades. Two weeks ago, it happened on a Wednesday, which was the same day as fantasy cards were upgraded earlier on in the year. Last week, it was randomly on a Tuesday, right? Remember when Zaha got upgraded and Bissette got upgraded? Same thing with Vasquez. A lot of cards are due upgrades again this week. What I would tell you to do is go on to... Um, Footbin. I think Footbin has one of the best trackers right now, and you can see who is due upgrades based off of kind of the counter here at the bottom, right? I believe Doku's already been upgraded, right? Zaha's already to a 93. Who's getting an upgrade today? I think Basek is getting another upgrade. Yeah. So they just hit, I think it was their goals, right? They hit their goals in that 5 0 win, which was just three days ago. Um, so four days ago. So Basek is going to go to a 93 rated card. Rafinha and Barca clinched upgrades as well. So he is going to be going to a 93. He's going to be getting a plus one. And let's see who else is getting upgraded. There's a couple other cards. Yep, of course, uh, Lucas Vasquez is going to go to 93. So he has obtained that upgrade as well. Klaus is getting another plus one. A lot of these cards... Oh, actually, St. Maximin is exploding in price because he is going to get a plus two. They clinched both of their upgrades. This card went from 400,000 coins to 600k. One thing we always have to be careful with with live cards, guys, is when there's no upgrades left, that does kills some of the hype and it drops some of the hype on these cards so if you have somebody um, which most of these cards are now like with these upgrades today not upgrading any longer they've played all of their games i would be careful i would say it's the safe move as always to sell on the hype but again when this same max gets upgraded today does he going to a 93 actually like boom and when the upgrade happens does he go up to like 650 or 700 because he's rare and think about it a plus two on this is going to take him to 99 pace and probably 97 dribble and close to 90 shooting and passing and it's going to be pretty crazy right so you know that's kind of the thing you want to weigh the risk in on if you have a card that you maybe want to sell before that upgrade or maybe right after they, same thing with Hinkapi. he's going to go to a 92 today his price is up selling the hype is always the safe route to do it there and to be safe but um, some of these cards will move a little bit today in my opinion because 
those upgrades could be today. It's not a guarantee. It's more of a could. Other than that, for today's content, it's kind of like known. We're getting a player SBC just about every single day. Maybe it's a mixed leagues player. Um, I forget what came out last Tuesday. It might have been Lucio. Not entirely sure, but we are. Uh, Wambasak is going away today. Uh, we have a flashback kind of already with Sissoko. I'm not expecting another flashback, but you know, probably a player SBC today of some sort. I would not be surprised. And then, of course, that weekly tots upgrade. Other than that, not expecting too many things, except for maybe an evolution, guys. And the reason why I'm shouting an evolution is because some center backs on the market. I'm going to pull up a couple of cards right now that have been moving. Um, some center backs on the market have been flying in price yesterday. This looks really suspect, right? When you look at a graph and you see a guy like Kyle Walker go from 150 K all the way to 300,000 coins. And he's maintaining this very inflated price. Oh, wait, it's not just him. You go look at Jules Kunde trailblazers card. Look at his graph yesterday. Oh, he went from 190 up to 245. He was even up to 270. He's still 270 K guys. A lot of center backs are up in value kind of like 85 to 86 rated center backs um on footbin some of the most popular named players are really starting to go up in value does that mean there is an evo coming related to center backs that would be if you're kind of reading between the lines what you would think it's also is there something expiring today i don't know if there's an sb or not an sbc but an evo doesn't look like there's any evos that are expiring today so sometimes you see that right where something's expiring i guess fullback swap is expiring i gotta get this done i have one, two more games one more game actually of squad battles to play and i get my sergio gomez that i hope to evolve at a lighter date um there could be a center back evo today guys so you know if you have one of those cards in your club you guys know the drill. The safe route is to always sell on the hype. There's no official leaks for it yet. But again, we're reading between the lines of what may be an Evo leak today. And then, of course, today is a Tuesday. When we think about the market, I really have not been trading. And I'm starting to get antsy to try to trade again. I bought like two or three cards tonight. That is it. There it is, boys. First time. It took us how long? Like, what, 15, 20 minutes into the video? Connecting the ultimate team is not possible at the moment. You will now be connected to the main menu as I'm trying to access my transfer targets. I bought two cards tonight. I bought a Rico Lewis for 73K on bid just because I noticed that he was low. I also bought a car Chowie or some say car Wowie at 1.35 just because I thought that was really, really cheap. Um, and she's down a lot from yesterday. Oh, there we go again. There was a problem connecting with the servers. Uh, hopefully I can sell her for like one point. Four seven. That's kind of like my hopeful exit. Pro Ooh, 1.36. What's the overnight? There's a 1.4. Do we? Ha, ah, man. I would love to buy that. I really would, but I really don't want to risk more than just one card. So I think I'm going to leave my one card here and uh, hopefully cop a sale today in the morning. But that's a crazy price for her. She was like two mil plus on Friday. So we're really watching these cards, guys. We're watching the League One and D1 Arkema team of the season cards very closely late because Tuesday, usually Tuesday night, but Tuesdays have been the buy days for these cards. Focus on the ones that have had good movements and have really good rarity already. We actually saw, I was waiting. I didn't buy any cards last night, guys, but there was some really good movements yesterday on some of these team of the seasons. Um, Lucas Hernandez had a really crazy spike. He went from 300K to like 380, 390. He's now back down to 350. I would love if he went down to 300K again. That would be a card I'd be super invested in uh, or interested in buying, investing in. If he was 300K, Vitinha is down. Jonathan David fluctuates a ton. Zayar Emery is great. Marquinhos is starting to show fluctuations. Um, it's like these cards kind of, they got low enough that made, made people interested in buying them, honestly, right? Um, the fact that Basha is 600K and Karchawi is such an insane card with whipped pass plus and rapid, right? And she's on, she's like double the price. Uh, I think that's why Karchawi is getting to a place for me. It's pretty interesting. Renard actually had some good fluctuations yesterday too. So it's nice to see that. It is nice to see these cards started to move. She was 572. She went all the way to 640 and she's 605K right now. So I'm not saying this is the low point right now. What I'm saying is keep an eye on these cards and I would be more careful with these mixed league cards. These cards really took a hit. Um, I know like yesterday, Podolski had a really, really big rise. I just bid on one Podolski for 169K. 
He yesterday went from 235 to 300. Crazy, crazy spike. But that was more so because of the rarity. Another day happens. He gets packed a lot more. And his price drops down a considerable amount. Um, you know, I would keep an eye on these cards, though. Because, like, Toby Alderweireld is really rare. This Ruben Neves card looks pretty cracked for 60K. Um, even the Busquets, the Jamie Vardy, like these cards had some pretty good price movements yesterday. So I'm kind of a fan um, of just watching their cards today and watching their prices because they could be moving a little bit more. And as I have this Valverde here, it's a good reminder to you guys as well. Again, be careful, but be looking around the market for La Liga because guys, we're going to start hy not hyping it up because I don't want to just falsely hype something that we don't know about yet. But you put the math together, you do two and two, and you think about what is coming this Friday on this game. It is La Liga EA Sports, right? Like La Liga is sponsored by EA Sports. That's the official sponsor of La Liga. There is a really good chance that this Friday of Ultimate Team, with it being, you know, EA sponsored, that it's going to be a pretty good Friday of team in the season. So that means it's going to be a lot of hype even on Thursday for like League, uh, La Liga and the cup and all that the lounge so continue to keep a close eye on those investments like we did last week for league one i know there's a lot of people that are, are investing but um you know there could be more investments to be made watch the fluctuations watch those prices and uh get it buying if you see a price that you like now again i was just like you saw me buy and sell that rico lewis if you're trying to trade cards today what i would tell you to do is Again, the out of packs. I'm saying this in every single video, guys, but it is the best way to trade on this game right now. The fluctuations. Who's the card that we look at every day? Golazo Cordova. He's 390. Okay, he's not as low as he's usually been. Not a good buy there, but foot birthdays, guys. They have the fluctuations. Future stars cards, foot birthday icons, fantasy cards, right? Think about even some of the more popular players right now, like Podolski. Maybe Schweinsteiger moves a little bit more on the market right now with people wanting to try Podolski. Oh, they want to try him. They're going to link him to Schweinsteiger, stuff, stuff like that, right? Kind of put two and two together. The same thing with like the Messi and the Jordi Alba that we mentioned. These cards, sorry if I'm shouting out anybody's flips, but these cards could be really good to buy. Like look at Messi since Sunday. Messi was 424K. Yesterday, he went all the way up from 460 and he was like in the 500 and 600s multiple times. He's 517 right now. And that honestly is a little tempting because I think he's going to be high 500s once again at some point today with people wanting to try Busquets. Busquets is on the market and stuff like that. So I'm actually going to go add this Messi in form to my transfer targets and just see if there's like a 500K flat Messi. Your boy might be interested. Look how rare this guy is, man. There's not that many Messi's on the market. So we're going to stay intrigued in flips just like this. The quick flips, the rare stuff, and the hype. And I'm now, with that being bought there, I'm kind of wishing I would have bought a Karchawi. We'll see if we can get another one uh, below 1.35 here. And maybe we can get this Jonathan David on bid in the low 700s. Last thing I do have to mention in this video. We've technically, it's an obvious leak, but we had the first leak of La Liga team of the season, since we're kind of on that tangent at the same time. Jude Bellingham is coming to EAFC 24 in La Liga Tots. Uh, Madrid Extra and Foot Police Leaks collabed to tweet this out. Uh, so that's kind of interesting, I guess. Not a normal collab that you see on the old X or Twitter, but uh, that's expected, right? He's going to be all 90s gang, guys. That is like almost a guarantee as I get disconnected from the menus once again. This is crazy. It's very annoying. Hopefully, I don't get disconnected in my foot champs run, which we are six and two right now. I'm trying to get up to those 11 wins, that coveted easy 11 and dip position. And then we will get those rewards. Hopefully, we'll have them tomorrow on stream. I'm not expecting. Maybe we'll get them. Um, yeah, maybe tomorrow, but we'll uh, hopefully get them done pretty soon. Get our reds and dip. Take my Donnarumma and maybe a Taribo if I get lucky, uh, because those are very intended rewards now instead of unintended as it was before so that's still the memes the jokes are still flying around but i appreciate you guys watching the video today if you do have any questions drop them down below in the comments i will see you on stream for some weekly tots and tots guarantees today and we'll cross our fingers and hope that lightning can strike for some people in chat today and we can pack some banger blues and then we can grind and craft through any of the SBCs that we want including the icon player picks so again guys that's the video for today have a great tuesday and I will see you in the stream today. That link is down below in the description. If you haven't checked us out there, make sure you do so. And I will see you guys there today. It's been Nathan Wood Catch you guys there. Peace out.